Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about user roles. And to illustrate this, I'm going to take this user that we created in the last lesson, we made them an editor, and I'm going to explain a little about what about they're able to do with different roles and what they're not. So because we had them, uh, we already have an administrator, you've seen what an administrator is capable of doing. If we were to bump up Scott to be an administrator, his admin section of the site would look the exact same, except it would be whatever color he decided to have it. Uh, however, as an editor, um, an editor is really just somebody who can publish, post, and manage articles and pages, right? So they're not going to be somebody who is necessarily administrating the site. So that becomes immediately obvious when you see that they don't have any of the uh, other settings here, like uh, they can't modify plugins, they can't change the appearance, uh, tools and settings. Uh, they have some tools here, but it's it's really nothing, and they don't they don't have any settings. Profile, of course, is just their profile. And you notice if you scroll down somewhere, they can't modify their role. However, an administrator could modify their role for them. So if somebody maybe is a, uh, an author, which is another role, and they need to become an editor, you would have to get an administrator to make that decision. That way you don't have anybody who doesn't have proper access coming in and destroying your site. Now, you'll see what they can access. They can look at all the posts. If they wanted to, they can come in here and edit a post just like that. And they can edit pages. Uh, if we look at posts again, uh, they can even delete them. So this person has complete reign over the content of your site, but not the configuration of stru or structure. So let's check out another role. I'm going to turn in Edit Scott. So by clicking Edit, this is my account. The orange one, keep in mind, is logged in as an administrator. Uh, and I can then change the role. And I'm going to make them an author, which is the next down the line. Now if I update this user and tab back to Scott and refresh, uh, you'll notice they have significantly different options. When you hover over, you no longer have the option to edit or delete because Scott didn't create this post. Uh, the admin was the author and therefore Scott has no way of controlling this. All they can do is see it. They also cannot create new pages. Really, what an author can do is create new posts and edit their own posts. So an author is really a lower level, somebody who's just going to be adding blog posts. Uh, so we can say author post uh, number one. And you'll notice that after I publish this, like so, uh, we can view this and this is going to be viewable. However, when we come back here, uh, you'll see that we'll be able to edit it or delete it only because we created it and not uh, anyone else's. Notice how we even have this selector up here that says mine and it's only showing my posts. If I click all, it's going to show you all and notice how this one's gray. You clearly can't do anything with it. So next down the line, this is back to the administrator. I'm going to change Scott's role once more, and I'm going to make them a contributor, which is the next level. And if you've gotten the pattern here, you'll notice these people basically are getting less and less and less features available to them. So now if we come back here, now what Scott can do is he can write and manage his own posts but he cannot publish them. So if I add a new post, test uh, author post, right? And I come in here and I submit for review, notice how this button no longer says publish. So if I come here and it submit this for review, it's not going to be available on the front of the website. And we can confirm that by coming back to the front of the website and I refresh, we see author post one, we see second post, but we don't see test author post. However, uh, the administrator can come in or the editor uh, can come in, look at all of the posts, 
and see this one that's pending, right? So now they can click edit and go to takeover and publish this thing. Cool. So uh, this is what a contributor does. Notice how they can also uh, look at comments here too. Uh, they just really have access to the stuff that's theirs, but they don't, they don't really have any administrative rights over it. At least the author can delete their own posts. Okay, now we have the last uh, role setting. And uh, I'm gonna go to users again, edit Scott once more, and I'm going to completely demote him to a, uh, a subscriber. Now if we update the user, uh, and now we come back to Scott. Uh, you'll see they don't have permissions to edit this edit page. This goes just wp-admin. And all they have access to do is change their profile. So uh, a subscriber is pretty much just a user on your site. It's somebody that could have a profile on your site, but not somebody that's going to be editing or working with any of your content or the management of your site. So these are the user roles. There's also an additional role called a super administrator, but the super admin doesn't really come into play unless you're using what's called a multi-site. Now, it's not really worth explaining that right now because for all intents and purposes right now, uh, the super admin is the same thing as the admin on a single site. So no need to worry about that. Uh, we'll talk about that more once we get into multi-sites. So as always, this is Scott with Love Love Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, Leave a comment on the video, Twitter, Facebook, um, we're at Level Up Tuts everywhere. Uh, we have a Level Up Tuts forum that you can post in. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.